Hello, shoe boxers. I'm going to share with you some of my ideas that I've actually gotten from others um, for what to put in your box regarding coloring books and uh, little blankets. Um, I believe it's Christy M. Uh, they call them her and her friend Kim, I believe, uh, call them lovies. Um, mine, some of mine are a little bit bigger than theirs, but anyways, um, I like to include coloring books with my shoe boxes. The issue I have with current coloring books today is that they're not simple coloring books. Like when I had what I had when I was little. Um, you know, they're not simple pictures, just a color, there's activities in them, um, you know, some of the paper isn't great, so I came across someone who had, I think it was actually Christy M, <laughs> who was making their own little booklet of pictures to color, so uh, I compiled some um, all I did was Google search. Um, I made, I have one made to show you. Um, this is for the toddler boxes. Uh, I'm not sure how many pages, but there was just, a, I, I found a lot of cute little simple pictures to color. So I'm not sure how many's in here but i think it's super cute and um as you can see it's it's not as thick as a coloring book per se but um it's about half a page diagonally uh landscape way uh so i just uh put a picture on each side of the page printed it and cut it in half basically. Um, my stapler would not go through most of them. Um, I'm going to show you three different ones that I did. So this one I'm planning on giving to the toddlers. So I just hole punched up here and I put a pipe cleaner through and tied it and looped it around itself in the back. I thought it was a pretty simple way to bind it together. Um, I didn't want to do the side just because it's, sometimes it's hard to to fold them. So I did it from the top. So this is the front. I'm not going to show you all the pictures, but... And this one's definitely not uh, all the same size. The paper's not the same size. My pictures are not the same size. But just simple little pictures this is a car for toddlers you don't have to make you don't even have to have this many in here but this is what I did I just I found so many cute little pictures for them to color so I just did one up to show you elephant, a snail. Um, I basically just googled simple simple uh, coloring pages or um, toddler coloring pages and that's how I found most of these. I love this little bug. He's so super cute. So this is not going to be my simple coloring book. I do have a few activity books that I have already bought, in, but I I like this idea better. Um, you get to pick what you want in your book, and you can make it bigger or smaller. Um, and I'm planning on every one I make. The very last page is going to be is going to have uh, one of these. So I have 
So if it was for a boy, this is going to be the last page. Uh, is for a girl. That page. Or I have this one. And I have this one as well. I thought they were really cute. Um, I did not make that one, but I think I made this one. I made the rainbow one. But they, all the other ones I found on Google. So, for an example, this one, I put the boy, I believe. So, that one will go for a boy. So, I thought it was a super simple, neat way to... Um, make a coloring book, make your own. Um, you don't have to have that many pages, obviously. You can just put a couple in each. Sometimes I like to go overboard with things like that. Um, so I think I'm going to make a little coloring book for the middle age group. So it's gonna be like, um, let's see, I have these two printed out. I think that's it for now. Um, and I might do a Disney princess one. Uh, I have some frozen ones printed out. They're not put together yet, but um, I made a bunny one. So this is going to be for my bunny boxes. So I just Googled, well, it's not all bunnies, but it's kind of themed as springtime and bunnies and... Just super cute little pictures of bunnies and kind of other things that go with bunnies like Easter and chicks and flowers, butterflies. This a little girl. She looks like she's a little gardener. That little bunny and this one I put this one in the back. Looked suitable for the spring bunny book so there's my bunny book and i also made a mini mouse one for my mini mouse boxes so I, I got i got the two made so i just as i said um this one i made as the front which sort of acts like you know minnie's giving them the shoe box <laughs> a gift uh just different Pages of mini. I actually found lots of ones of Minnie Mouse. This one is cute. I thought that one was a good one. So she'll have her mini jewelry and hair stuff. And then I made the back one. I just found um, Minnie with a heart beside her and I put in the God Loves You for the back. So that's my Minnie Mouse coloring book. I thought it was super cute. So, I got my coloring books on the go. Um, okay, so, my blankets. Um, I can put down in, put down below the link for um, what Christy M, how they make theirs. Um, they have a website called Blessings in a Shoebox. Uh, they also have some good other resources and ideas for putting in a shoebox. Um, they have some good resources like um, this, which you download and print off. Um, directions for 
reusable menstrual pads. So I got some of these uh, already printed on cardstock, ready for my little kits. Uh, I'll put that down in the comments, the link for those. And I also have this cute, uh, cute, I don't know why I say cute. Everything's cute. This is a handy little um, diagram for nail clippers uh, that they also have. Uh, I also, obviously, I printed a bunch of those off since I got a whack of nail clippers. I will put the link for that down below as well. Um, they have a lot of good other, other ideas. Um, so, um, obviously, I got the idea for little blankets from Christy M. Um, she calls them loveys. Um, basically, uh, they're for the toddlers. Um, you can make them as big as a receiving blanket if you wish. Um, these ones are just smaller. Mine, I don't have a one size for all of them because I just kind of cut as I went. <laughs> so, I got the idea to do some um, after seeing theirs. And I had some leftover fabric um, from Christmas time. I had gotten this cute little track construction fabric uh, from my little cousin. I made him a blanket. I had some left over. I didn't know what to do with it. And then I seen their little blankets and I thought, well, hey, I could use my leftover to make one of those or a few of those. I am nowhere near a professional sewer. Uh, I just kind of started. Uh, I'm still trying to get the hang of making the doll diapers. I've become pretty much a pro at making the, the little doll reusable wipe container. That's pretty easy. Um, diapers and bibs are a little bit more excruciating. Um, but I... I did, I had enough fabric to make three of these. So as you can see, they're not very big. Um, Christy M and her friend, they use, they make theirs with Minky fabric, which I don't know about where you guys live, but uh, where I live up in Canada, uh, Minky fabric is not cheap at all. Um, it is not at my at the closest fabric store I go to, which is a discount fabric store, which is where I've been getting a lot of my fabric. Um, it was down in the city, not the city, but close to at ridiculously priced, like insanely priced. Um, so this is like flannel. I don't think they call this flannel. It's like a soft cotton. It's really soft though, which I think is good. Um, and it's, it's just like a little something, you know, they can um, hold against their face or, I mean, they can, they can even use it as a washcloth too. So, and they put ribbon on, I think they have the ribbon in the middle on the top, but I put mine in the corner. So, I mean, they can use the ribbon to hang it up or, you know, something to, for sensory. I think that's why they have taggy blankets for babies, but this is the first few I made. So I have that one. I got three made out of that fabric. So they're not all the same size, but if they fold in half, it will fit pretty good in the shoebox. I put the ribbon on wrong on these ones, but that's okay. I wanted the ribbon going upwards so that when it's in the shoebox, the ribbon will go this way and not this way where it might bend it, but it shouldn't be a big deal. So I also had this fabric 
This is also the soft cotton. It's like a brushed cotton, maybe. Maybe that's what it's called. Um, this was left over from uh, when I made some diapers for my niece. So I got two made out of them. And I just bought matching fabric for the back. And the ribbon actually matches pretty good with the fabric. So I got two of those ones made. That one's a little bit longer. I don't have a size preference for them. Um, I just kind of cut as I went. Now yesterday, I got all these done. I had gone to the fabric store a week ago go I think it was a week ago and I picked up they have a lot of this nice brushed cotton uh, fabric so I wanted to check out their um, patterns for toddlers um, before I would purchase anything online they do I did find one um, a fabric store online for Canada that they have a mini most fabric, which I'm very, very tempted to, to buy a uh, half a meter to do a blanket for my mini, mini most boxes. Very, very tempted. I might, because it was on sale. But anyways, um, I found this cute jungly um, animal fabric. And I matched it up with a bright yellow so this is one and I have a yellow ribbon on it so I thought that was a cute fabric um, and these this one and my other one I had gotten I believe I bought a half a meter each so half a meter for the front and half a meter for the back um, with the jungle ones I got Eight made so I thought that was pretty good um, obviously they're not all the same size but I think they're cute they can you know kind of cuddle with them use them as a washcloth this one's a little bit bigger I'm gonna have to cut a, a, a size that I'm content with out of cardboard so I have an actual cutout <laughs> of what I want because it's very hard to cut I'm, I'm still getting used to cutting straight I can't cut straight lines at all so this is my other fabric um, I got six made out of this one so there's a few more bigger ones I wanted something girly so this is a uh, cute little tropical birds and I got the dark pink on the back of this one as well so I got six of those made uh, I think this one's the biggest one so I mean if it folds in half it'll definitely fit good in the bottom of the box so there are my little blankies loveys um, security cuddly whatever I don't know Whatever you want to call them. I thought they were super cute. I'm probably going to make more. Um, there is a few other different cute fabrics that they had. Um, I might still get, I might get some more of the jungle. I was thinking of getting some more of this kind and doing a blue, a light blue for the back or something. I don't know. Um, but I thought they were really cute, um, and they're simple to make, you know, cut your two fabrics, um, place your ribbon, you have to place your ribbon wherever you want it to go, it has to be stitched this way, so that when you turn it inside out, it's, it comes out <laughs> with the blanket, so those are my coloring books and my little lovies.